So if you missed it last time, my name is Arielle Huggins, and you can call me Wicked if you want. It's uh, part of my branding, kind of, and that's a different story for later. Uh, I am star director of Nomad Tribe, hashtag it's your move, and I live out in Buckeye, and I am super excited to be here. I have a lot of energy and excitement, and I move around a lot. I might sing a little bit, use my hands, and I always love engagement and feedback. When I'm talking, I will say right a lot because I want to make sure that we're on the same page because this training is for you guys, it's not for me, and I want to make sure that you're understanding that we're all going on this journey together. So, who's excited? Woo! Yes, love it. So we are going to start off with an ice breaker. So everyone set your stuff down and stand up, please. Yes, I'm not gonna have you move yet, but that is coming, so be prepared. But right now, our icebreaker is going to be a power pose. Now, if you are familiar with power pose, go ahead and think about what pose you're gonna have, what pose you're gonna hold, and we're gonna hold it for about 90 seconds. But what a power pose is, is literally just a pose that you hold to get your mind focused, to get yourself straight, and get your, your confidence up and get ready to slay. Get ready to crush this, right? So does that make sense to everybody? Some ideas for a power pose are the Wonder Woman pose, Supergirl, Superman, flexing, maybe add a little bit of sass in there, throw your hips. I will warn you, if you're gonna do sass, so you're gonna be holding this for a long time, so make sure you're stable, like have your feet planted, okay? Is everyone ready? I'm probably not actually going to time this. I'm gonna you know, estimate in my head. All right, it's gonna be quiet. It's gonna probably feel a little awkward, <laughs> and that's okay, that's okay. This is about you focusing and getting your attention <laughs> straight. So get ready for your power pose in three, two, one. All right, guys, don't forget, hold your chins up high. This is to build your confidence, to get yourself focused. And I want you to think about things that you're going to take away from this weekend, things that we've already learned about your climb, what mountains you're going to overcome, and think about that for the next 60 seconds. That's all right, guys, go ahead and set your stuff down. We're doing a power pose. Pick something good. We're gonna hold it for about 60 more seconds. How many of you feel really confident right now? Again, it's okay to feel silly. It's okay to feel uncomfortable. Because when you get uncomfortable, that's when you start growing the most. All right, about 10 more seconds. Again, I'm timing it very accurately in my head. <laughs> recruiters or PRV rock stars or home party 
goddesses, right? That's not something that is just, yes, this is my life. This is what I am. Go ahead and find a seat. You're good. Come on in. <laughs> it's a lifestyle that we learn and that we live through, right? And a lot of that has to do with our attraction marketing and how we draw people to us. And again, the influence and in how we share versus sell. So let's talk about sharing versus selling a little bit. You're going to tailor your conversations with everybody you speak to a little bit differently, but are you going to be somebody you're not? No, you're going to be your authentic self in every conversation, but the way I talk to a potential customer is not the same way that I talk to my kids, right? I don't talk to my, anybody like I talk to my kids. I love my kids, they're awesome. But I don't talk to people like them with adult interactions. I don't talk to current team members like I'm going to talk to my best friend. I don't talk to potential team members like I'm gonna to talk to a host. We tailor our conversations differently, and a lot of that comes with practice and living that lifestyle. Feel free to come on in, guys. Find a seat, make new friends, use those signs, train them with people. Uh, so sharing versus selling is a lot of what comes into that. So I'm gonna give you some examples so you can kind of have a, an idea of what sharing versus selling looks like. So sharing is gonna be over here on my left, my sharing examples. So something I might say in real life to my friends or my family or whoever is, I had a shirt I really wanted to wear today and I didn't do laundry because YOLO. I hate cleaning, I hate laundry, <coughs> but you know what I did? Pulled out of the stash, sprayed some Scentsy Fresh and here I am, come smell me. <laughs> right? That's my sharing of Scentsy Fresh versus, buy this product, Scentsy Fresh is amazing, here's the link, it's only $12, you need it. <laughs> Another example of sharing I might do on social media is, you guys, the last six months, I worked my business and I earned another free trip for two. It's awesome, I love what I do. Just by doing my normal business, I earned this trip. Who wants to earn the next one with me? Income disclosure. <laughs> That's the sharing. The selling is, you can earn a trip for two, join my team, here's my link, blah, 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 join.com, whatever. Here's the link. Like, ew, don't be that person. How gross does that feel? Like the sham wild guy blah, yelling in your face. You want to be the person who integrates it naturally, and this is something that people are drawn toward, right? That's the attraction part of the attraction marketing. You want to be a positive, sticky person that people come to and choose. Because, you guys, your customers can choose whoever they want to be their sensing person. What keeps them coming back to you? What eventually makes some of them want to join your team? What is that sticky thing about you that is a good sticky, not like an icky sticky? that keeps them coming back to you. So, it all starts with being comfortable in your own skin. Do you believe in yourself? Are you comfortable with who you are as a person? You don't have to stand up on stage and do this like I'm doing. That's who I am, that's what I love, right? That's not how you might be meant to be successful. You don't have to do the things I'm doing to be great, but you need to be comfortable with who you are and continue to be your authentic self. So the different areas of our lifestyle that we can focus on the biggest one is obviously social media. That has the farthest reach where we can access people and show who we are. Yes, I understand a lot of it is a highlight reel, right? We show the good stuff. We don't show, we like clear a spot, we make a, a really pretty display, take a picture, and the rest is a disaster behind us because our kids are home for the summer, right? No, we, yes, we do that. But we also want to be authentic when we're doing that. That is our biggest reach. And so one thing I will tell you about social media and I won't tell you to do a lot of things. I try not to should on you. I try not to tell you exactly what to do. But don't be overly controversial on social media. That's where that icky sticky comes in and you're gonna you know, like collect those trolls on the internet, people who just thrive on being negative. You want to be the positive sticky that people come to, right? right. Okay, so I say right a lot, like the engagement, right? A lot of you miss this. I say right a lot because I wanna make sure we're on the same page. I wanna make sure you're engaged <laughs> And that, we're, I already said this, we're on this journey together, that you're learning, that you're understanding what I'm saying. Okay, so I say right, and you guys are like, praise him, yes, here you. Okay, you don't have to do that. Again, comfortable with your own skin. You can also like talk to people in person, IRL, in real life, for those of you who don't like acronyms. In real life, it's a really awesome way to talk to people, like the Sensi Fresh thing. That's something, I mean, I've shared it online. But that's something that's funnier in person that I can share with my friends. Like, hey, but seriously, smell me. Do I smell okay? I didn't wash this. Versus being negative. You can also text people, email people, and 
the phone. What? Yeah, no, it still works. Phones are a real thing. So, if any of you, during this last couple minutes, have thought, Ooh, I'm not great at that, focus on that as your area of opportunity that you can strengthen. My sponsor always says, and we learned this in the session, which is full circle, if there's an area of opportunity that you feel like you could strengthen with your business or your life, make yourself an expert in that thing. How do you make yourself an expert? You go learn all the things. Go to YouTube, go to Facebook, ask people, go to our workstation. There's so many training resources. Absorb all the things, but don't stop there. Then become the teacher. Ask <coughs> if you have a friend that you can practice a speech on, or you can practice maybe your spiel, if you're gonna be doing a presentation for somebody. Or ask if you can go live on your page and train your new friends that the ways that you discovered that you're willing to be a PRB goddess, right? Train them in the ways. But then the final thing for the trifecta is to implement it in your life and live it. Don't just say what you want to do. Don't just say what you learned. Do it. Because that's where the final, what, where there were four things in what they said in the, in the general session, but the trifecta here in this room right now, teach, learn, teach, live. So, I don't know why I pointed in not a circle, in not a triangle, but you know, we're on this, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay, there it is, there it is. So, if at any time in the last few minutes you were like, seriously, Ariel, I can't do that, that's your self sabotage. Let's give yourself a pep talk. Don't sabotage yourself by saying you can't do things and you won't do things and you're never going to be able to do the things that we do. Figure out how it's going to work for you and give yourself a pep talk. Turn to page 12 of your workbooks, and what I want you to do is, when I was speaking, if there's an area of opportunity that you want to strengthen, write down in the form of an affirmation <coughs> what you're going to do. I am a PRB goddess. You might not be there yet, but if you write it down, you're going to be it, right? We'll get there. Baby steps. I am a recruiting rock star. I am consistent with my business. Write down something in the form of an affirmation the area of opportunity where you want to work on your business. And so that's the first step, that's the baby step. When you get home, here's the next step. Grab a stack of sticky notes and write down that affirmation on like all of them and stick it everywhere. Stick it on your mirror, stick it in your office, your car door, your fridge, I don't know. Stick it on your water bottle. Keep sticking those sticky notes and keep repeating those things to yourself until you believe it. Keep sticking them until it sticks in here and it's an automatic thought. And then you know what? That's who I am. Next. That's the baby steps. You can do hard things. So it starts with the easy thing of writing it down. Okay. We are going to do an activity next. Yes, this is where you get to move. But stop, don't move yet. And also I have a camera here, so like, don't, don't kick it over. Thank you, thank you. She's got, she's my bodyguard. What we're going to do is we are going to trade seats. And I know it's, I, I have the same feelings, or I have the same feelings of the, I don't want to move seats. I'm living my best life here. I'm comfortable. I'm with my friends. I don't want to move. Here's the deal, though. When you stay put, when you stay where you are, you become stagnant, right? When are you going to learn and grow? The people that you're surrounding yourself with right now, how many of you know them outside of this room? Right? Unless you came here alone, you, you know the person you're sitting next to, and that means you are already connected. You already brainstorm with them. You already get to talk with them and bounce your ideas off and help each other grow. What I want you to do right now is find three people who you do not know, and what we're going to do is share with each other how you live your best sensey life, how you use attraction marketing in your life and in your business, and what you have found successful for your business, right? And then because we do only have about five minutes in this activity, if you feel like the conversation could go further and you feel like you're really connecting with this person and you want to learn more, add their number on your phone, friend them on social media, right? Take it beyond that so you can grow your circle, grow your network. So whether you're going to move four rows back, come to the front, go to the side, find three people that you do not know. And make it quick because we only have about five minutes here. So get ready to talk about how you live your busy life. <laughs> Oh, you're coming back so you can leave your stuff. You're going to come back. You can leave your stuff. And as you make your way back to your seats, what I'm going to do is share with you some really awesome tips that seasoned consultants feel 
help their businesses thrive. And there are something that there are a lot of tips that they wish they would have started earlier in their businesses. Mm -hmm. So if you want, write them down. If not, just like keep an internal list going. But the first one is to connect with your customers beyond the follow-up and actually engage with them. Show an interest in their lives, in them. Because again, your customers can choose whoever they please to be their sensey person. But they're choosing you. So don't make them regret it, right? Make sure you're giving good customer service. Make sure you're following up. Make sure you're engaging and that you show you care. The next one is follow up. It doesn't matter what system you use, whether you use the awesome Amy app we have, whether you use like a Trello board or a notebook, whether you physically write it down, follow up with them. That's your job. It's not Donna's job to let me know that she's out of sea salt and avocado. She pulled her drawer open and it's empty. It's my job to engage. Make sure she's doing okay. I haven't talked to her in a while. Hey, also, at the end of the week, I'm placing my next order. Do you want me to add any of your sea salt and avocado for you? You engage and you follow up and you make it personal. Following up is huge. There's a stat that's floating around and I think it is 70% of all Sensi customers only buy once. It's bananas, right? How many customers would we have if we simply engaged after they purchased and followed up and kept following up and kept following up and kept following up? Because sometimes my customers ignore me eight times before they're like, Ariel, I need you. It's okay, it's not you, it's not personal. Life happens. If you send them a text, my kids, my texts go to my phone, my iPad, my computer. So if I'm on one of those, it might mark as red and I haven't seen it. So don't take it personally they don't respond. Maybe their kids read their text message and they, they didn't realize it, right? Another one is to not ever stop growing and learning. We talked about circles and expanding. Don't ever stop growing and inviting new people into your circle and don't ever stop learning. If you have people in your circle who aren't helping you grow, it's okay to keep them in your life. Maybe they're your best cheerleaders. But you also want to find people who have the same goals as you, who want more, who want what you want, and are willing to help cheer you on as you both get there. This is a personal tip that sometimes is hard to remember because, man, life, stigmas, they're all around. A couple years ago when I started my business, I was sometimes embarrassed to tell people that I owned my own Sensi business. And it's not because this is an amazing company. It's not because we don't have amazing products. It's because there, was a, there still is a stigma around direct sales. But you guys, I bring home a real paycheck for my family. I earn real trips by working my job. It's nothing to be embarrassed of, and those negative mindset people, I call mine Patrice. If you haven't named your negative mindset yet, name your negative mindset, because yet gives you power and control over it. It's that voice in your head that starts talking, and you know what, pipe down Patrice, I don't need you. I'm focused on great things ahead. When those people start talking, treat them like you would Patrice and say, nope, I'm sorry if anybody's name is Patrice. That's, it's a how I met your mother thing and I'm, I, it's not personal at all. I didn't think about that when I was here. <laughs> so, <coughs> tell that voice to pipe down. You don't need that negativity. Another one is don't be afraid to invite people in on this amazing Sensi journey. There's been so much talk about our culture and how amazing we are and how arms open we are. Authenticity, simplicity, generosity. You guys, those are our core values. And living that sensey life is automatically invite, inviting people in, but sometimes words are necessary. So don't be hesitant to physically, no, verbally invite them in. I mean, you can hug them. Maybe they're not hugging people. I don't know. Invite them, because if they say no, it's a no for now. It's a not yet. It's not a no forever. Maybe they don't want to join, but maybe they're going to be your best customer or your best friend. You never know who you're going to meet. So don't take it personally. Take it as, let's get all the no's we can because about one out of 10 people say yes. So no, okay, next. But don't ignore them, right? Again, they might be your best customer. Keep them in the fold, keep engaged. And finally, please don't ever forget that comparison is the thief of joy. You were made for great things. And guess what, I was too. Isn't that so rad? We were all made for great things and I'm gonna get those great things. Patrice is gonna pipe down in the back and I'm gonna be focused ahead. But does me getting my great things diminish you getting your great things? It doesn't diminish your greatness at all. If you've ever heard the quote, a rising tide lifts all boats, 
me helping my greatness, helping, nope, getting my greatness, can also help encourage you to get your greatness and get you to shine. Maybe help you think outside the box and do things that you wouldn't have otherwise. So let's help each other achieve greatness with this. Okay, and the final thing is, okay, we're, we're like at time. So this is probably gonna be an activity at home. But I'm gonna have you create your after action report. Now my husband's in the military and this is usually done with a debriefing of situation and usually they focus on the negative and what went wrong and how they can do it better next time. But we don't wanna focus on that. We're not gonna harm on that. That's Patrice talking to us. It is very important to acknowledge the things that don't work so that you can say that didn't work next. <laughs> What are we gonna do now? We're gonna step forward, right? But we need to focus on where we're going to go from here and how we're going to go forward. So, in page, on page 13 of your workbook is the acronym CLIMB, right? We have the CLIMB acronym and it's, it's a phenomenal resource to help guide you. So I want you to choose one, two, three, or all of them and write down in the form of your affirmations how you're going to accomplish your things. So, what are you going to do to challenge yourself after you leave today? What are you going to learn to do and become an expert of? Right, there's that affirmation that we talked about. But if you choose no other acronym to move forward with today, I would love it if you chose the B for belief. Believing in yourself is one of the base foundations of what's going to help you grow and move forward. So believe in yourself because you can do it. You can do hard things, you can do easy things, you can do great things. You are strong and you are confident and it is lunch time. Thank you guys so much, enjoy lunch, and we'll see you after the break. Thank you.